And now, culinary delight for the gray matter of your choice. It's Chef's Chat with Hud Ford Flecker. And an artificial anus was used. This just in. Sad news today from Tinseltown. As rumors that the Pillsbury Doughboy had died yesterday of a yeast infection and complications from repeated pokes in the belly were found to be true. He was 71. The Doughboy was buried in a lightly greased coffin with dozens of celebrities turning out to pay their respects. Celebrities like Mrs. Butterworth, Hungry Jack, California Raisins, The Hostess Tweakies, Captain Crunch, The Double Mint Twins, and the bald guy from Night Court. Pillsbury Doughboy's grave site was piled high with flowers, both whole grain and self-rising. Aunt Jemima delivered a eulogy describing the Doughboy as a man who never knew how much he was needed. The Doughboy rose quickly in show business, but his later life was filled with turnovers. He was not considered a very smart cookie, wasting much of his dough on half-baked schemes. Despite being a little flaky at times, he still as a crusty old man was considered a role model for millions. Doughboy survived by his wife Plato, his two children John Doe and Jane Doe, and they have one in the other. He's also survived by his elderly father, Pop-Tart. The funeral was held at 3.50 for about 20 minutes at a low temperature until he was lightly brown. Memorials can be sent to the Make-A-Dish Foundation. And now, an MTM exclusive with the luck and now an MTM exclusive with the love slave of the Pillsbury Doughboy. And now in an exclusive in, uh, in, uh, in a, now an exclusive in now line MTM interview, we got the love slave of the Billsbury Dome Boy, Mr. Hong Lo Tufa. So you're home. I am. Thank you very much. Hello. 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 You make fun of me now. What's the matter with you? You better make fun of me. I got home. You make no, fun no, of Chinese no, no, no. man. What's the matter with you? Why you doing me like that? I got to be honest with you. I'm not that fluent in Chinese language. Uh, I, told, I told him before we started this interview, I didn't want to offend anybody. I, I, to make it up to you, we'll throw some silverware on the floor later on and give you some children's name. So, what, uh, when you say you're the love slave, the love slave of the Pillsbury Doughboy, what exactly oh, is the Pillsbury Doughboy? He loved me a long time. Is that right? He loved me a long time. You guys were remember the... sad when he died? He loved me a long time. So, so you and the Pillsbury Doughboy were together for quite a while? Is we that... loved him a long time. Uh, he lovers. need me. He need me. Oh, is that? One time he need me a long time. He need me 30 hours one night. Then he rolled me over and he need me again and watch me rise. Oh, so what you're saying is there was a kinky side to the Oh, Pillsbury yeah, very, very kinky. Pillsbury kinky. Dough Boy, very kinky guy. Kinky to the, fact, know, that, very kinky kinky guy. To the fact that he liked jello wrestling while dressed like a chicken with uh, Bjork in Iceland. And uh, the girl... Uh, I said kinky. I didn't say he American. What's the matter with you? You don't go on the internet or nothing. He, if I, if I, if there's a kinky! Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm I, I, what, what exactly? What exactly kinky are you talking about? I mean, you're talking about you're talking about an American icon as you're saying had kinky sex, and he's not here to defend himself. And all we have is word he of is mouth. Very from kinky you. guy. He like a he, he like animal crackers. Oh, so now you're talking my kind of porn. Animal. So animal crackers. He was in the animal. Well, again, you're talking about an American icon slandering his name while he's passed on, probably lightly basting somewhere. Hey, I and got proof. I got proof. I got right here in my wallet. I carry a picture right here in my wallet. Let's, yeah. let's put it on the TV so screen. I'll show you. Put this, let's put that up. we get that on us. The, there you go. Now, see, okay. there I told you. There he is right there. He went next door to a gingerbread man house. He get doggy right there. He ride, See, he ride on top of doggy. Uh, that's not a dog. Well, she pretty ugly. Well, I'll give you that. My God, she ain't the prettiest woman at the fair. So... You're still pretty strange. So, let me... So, so he was in the animal sex. And, and that was it. That was the, the extent. No, he just liked riding doggies. Oh, he liked riding. Okay, so there, so there was nothing else kinky about about. Well, the, one time, one time, one one time, he brought home this his, his girlfriend. I didn't like it so much because he he loved me a long time. He loved me a long time. Oh, but he brought home girl, 
girlfriend. Remember, uh, Riddle Debbie. Oh, I hate that girl. Oh, I know Riddle Debbie. Yeah. Riddle Debbie with them cinnamon buns all sticky and brown. Oh, I don't like her no more. Yeah, she a uh, sticky brown cinnamon buns. Yeah. Did, uh, did, let me ask you this, did he bring her home and uh, pull her wrapper off? And, and, he and stopped pulling her wrapper off, I, I, made me watch. Wait, wait, and, wait, and, wait, 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 hold on, hold that thought. Let's go to commercial. We're going to be right back with an exclusive interview with Hero, the love slave of the Pillsbury Doughboy. The Iron Chef, Hero, Hero, Hung Ro, Hero, Hero, Hero. You may fuck me, Gandalf! Oh, I like the friend of Ma! Make fun of me!